Hi, today we are going to see about three basic propagation mechanisms in mobile radio propagation. Guess the topic propagation mechanisms. Radio waves. The term radio waves are electromagnetic waves in the frequency range of 0.001 Hz to 10 power 16 Hz. The wavelength ranging from 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 meter to 3 into 10 to the power of 11 meters. Radio waves comprises of both electric and magnetic fields. The classifications of radio waves is given as tabulations in this slide. The different types of radio waves are extremely low frequency, very low frequency, low frequency, medium frequency wave, high frequency wave, very high frequency wave, ultra high frequency wave, super high frequency wave and extremely high frequency wave. From extremely low frequency to extremely high frequency, the frequency ranges from less than 3 kilohertz to 300 GHz. The classification of radio waves is given in this pictorial representation and the different frequency ranges are used for different applications. The very low frequency is used for maritime radio navigation whereas the ultra high frequency range is used for television mobile phones like that. Propagation mechanisms involves line of sight, reflection, diffraction and scattering parameters. Line of sight transmission. Line of sight is a type of propagation where transmit and receive stations are in view of each other. Any sort of an obstacle does not exist between them. FM radio, microwave and satellite transmissions are examples of line of sight transmission. Activity Draw a logo which may describe your character or thing you like. Next, reflection. The abrupt change in direction of a wave front at an interface between two dissimilar media is reflection. So that the wave front returns into the medium of digital TV signal hitting and obstructions with properties like thickness and length that is much larger than the wavelength of the radio wave. In this scenario the reflection occurs. Diffraction. Diffraction occurs when the signal encounters an edge or a corner whose size is larger than the wavelength of the signal. Example an edge of building roofs and mountain tops. These acts as secondary sources re-radiating into the shadow region. It is due to the diffraction effect that the frequency energy travels in dense environments where there is no clear line of sight between two antennas. Scattering Scattering occurs when the signal encounters small objects of size smaller than the wavelength of the signal. It results in a disorder of random change in the energy distribution. In smooth surface spe specular reflection occurs but in rough surface along with specular reflection scattering occurs. occurs. Multipath propagation is that multiple copies of a signal propagation taking multiple paths arrive at receiver at different times. Signal received at a point affected by the interaction of signals propagated is the multipath propagation. Next small scale fading. Small scale fading is concerned with rapid fluctuations of received signal strength 
over very short distance and short time period it depends on propagation environment the large scale fading occurs when an obstacle comes in between transmitter and receiver it is related to large fluctuations of the signal over distance it includes path loss and shadowing effects the assessment questions are given in this slide first one is the rainbow pattern seen on a cd is an example of reflection or refraction or diffraction or none of the above fresnel reflection coefficient is a factor of polarization of the wave properties of the material at which reflection occurs angle of incident of wave in this the first and second statements are correct or first and three or second and three or all the three are correct which one is correct one diffraction at high frequencies depends upon first one geometry of the object or polarization of the incident wave or amplitude of the incident wave or frequencies of the incident wave and the third question which combination is correct or all the three are correct thank you